Chen Heping, born in Huangshan. He started to learn Huizhou architecture and woodworking crafts when he was young. From a large wooden work to the builder of the largest Huizhou architecture in China, his team has worked hard and is good at cooperating, and has explored a modern breakthrough road of traditional architecture and tenon techniques. This may just confirm what the Englishman Mike said. Drawing, scribing, axe chiseling, knife cutting, and polishing—a team of hundreds of wood craftsmen has a clever division of labor, just like the mortise and tenon structure. The craftsmen are all equipped with unique skills. The oldest is 76 years old, and the youngest is 18 years old. They have always kept the true nature of intangible cultural heritage skills taught by teacher, apprentice, and hand in hand. In recent years, Pan Heping led a team to undertake dozens of Huizhou-style construction projects in Shangrao in Jiangxi, Chuanzhou in Fujian. Beijing, Shenzhen, and other places. The reason why he is so popular is that his experience is to innovate in inheritance and learn from the best of others, and this seems to coincide with the formation of Huizhou architectural style. This is the original Huizhou style. It's Huizhou's own. It's Huizhou's own. He also brought it to the whole world, and brought it to the whole world. It's the most important thing about the Huizhou style. 我们会派这些古建筑技术，这个技法，对呀。再就是讲参照了全国各地这些优点、这些技术去参观学习，把它优点全部容纳了我们公司这个会派建筑，对呀。现在必须要市场化了，你只要做得好，那个就是别人只有去哪里做去。In the context of China's vigorous promotion of traditional culture, more and more foreigners like Mike, who love Chinese skills. Are appearing in Huangshan, the originator of carpenters like Liu Ban, who was once forgotten by the Times, has once again become the idol of ordinary people like Pan Keping. Craftsmen who know how to operate and who are skilled in business are constantly emerging in Huangshan. Huizhou architecture and mortise and tenon structure will definitely get better and better.